explore the reaches of space, let us go to the new worlds together. Not as new worlds to be conquered, but as a new adventure to be shared. Hello, I'm Patrick Moore, and welcome to our program about the moon. And you may wonder where I am. I'm in the South Downs Planetarium at Chichester in Sussex, and behind me, you can see there, our planetarium projector. That throws an artificial sky onto the inside of a large dome. And believe me, the effect is very, very realistic. But the moon itself, I think I must begin by clearing the air, so to speak. The two bodies dominate our skies, the sun and the moon, and they are very different. The sun is a star, a perfectly ordinary star, the same as many of those stars you see at night, but close to us, only, <laughs> only 93 million miles away. And the sun is large and very hot. You could throw a million Earths inside the sun and still leave plenty of room to spare. And the sun is shining, not burning like a coal fire, by what we call nuclear transformations, and we owe everything to the sun. Now the moon is very different. Our companion in space goes around us and stays with us as we journey around the sun. And the moon is less than one quarter of a million miles away and small. Our Earth is nearly 8,000 miles across, the moon just over 2,000 miles across, so they're very different kinds of worlds. And the moon has no light of its own. It shines only by reflecting the light of the sun. And you may think the full moon looks nearly as bright as the sun. It certainly doesn't. You need something like half a million full moons to equal the sun, and the moon sends us virtually no heat. Important to us? Well, very important indeed. It affects the Earth, controls the tides, and of course also the only body close enough for us to reach. As we know, men have been there, and in the fairly near future, we will set up bases there. So although the moon is not important in the universe as a whole, or even in the solar system, to us, it's very important indeed, because it is unique. So we have found out a great deal about it. And yet, you know, although we know so much, there's always something new to learn, and to me anyway, the moon has lost none of its magic. <laughs> 